Hello people and today welcome to another Roblox Studio tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make this sub count GUI. So this is a sub count which will display your YouTube name and your subscriber count. Now this will be very useful for like events or celebrating for 1000k which I am trying to and yeah enjoy. <laughs> First, what you're going to do is we're going to insert a script and then let's go ahead and make some variables. And then we're going to say local HTTP service equals game colon get service colon HTTP services. Then we're going to say the two variables. We're going to say local ID and local API key. So I will tell you what these mean. So the ID will... You know, making a sub count will need to require a, a YouTube ID. So what I mean YouTube ID is go to your URL and this is your YouTube ID. And even also on your YouTube studio, which will see your channel URL. So what are we going to do with it is we're going to copy this YouTube ID and then paste it in our ID. So this will be important. And what about the API key? So making a sub count requires you to need to make your own API key. So I'm going to show you how to make an API key. So here's how to make an API key. So API key is definitely going to be used for uh, accessing websites. I'll leave a link in the description below of how to make an API key. So this is the link you should be having. You need to require a Google account for it. Otherwise, uh, go make a new one, I guess. If you do not make a API key, I already made an API key, but if you don't have a API key, so what I'm going to do is we're going to click here and then we're going to click new project. And then once you got a new project, then you can name whatever you want. So I'm just going to say uh, test and we can uh, create an API key. So as you may notice, there's a notification right here. As you can see, I, we have created a project. And once we've done that, we're going to uh, uh, search an API or service. We can just say YouTube. And then we're going to click YouTube Data API V3, which we'll definitely be using. And then uh, you may notice uh, this actually, I already managed it. So we're just going to switch it to test. Then we're going to uh, enable this API. All right, so once we're done here and we're going to create a credential, and we're going to see, find out which kind of credit actually you need. Uh, we're going to need a YouTube Data API 3. And then when are we calling it? We're going to call it as a JavaScript. And then we're going to set it as public. And then we're going to click this blue button. And you make sure it's YouTube Data API v3. And then here you go. Now I got my credit actual and it says my API 3. To copy it and put it in the API key right here. So now this will be called our API key. And then once we've done that, let's press done. Now you have created your own API key. Sometimes if you want to do it, you can restrict the key or send it to an IP address, whatever you want. But I'm just going to leave it there for later. All right, since once we've done that, I'm going to go to the dashboard and then just click YouTube Data API 3. We're going to try the API Explorer. And then this is where we're going to get the API. Uh, this is where uh, you have all the access to use API. So uh, we're going to go to the channels and this is where we're going to do it. We can see the resource reference. Now the resource representation does is just, just shows the, you know, the content details and the statistics and whatever you want. We're going to have to focus on the statistics because they have a subscriber account right here. Let's go ahead and make a while loop. Uh, the reason why I'm setting a seconds right here because HTTP services call by a maximum of 500 requests. So I recommend you just, just make the duration to be higher. Otherwise, we don't want to like overload it and it will not call it the 500th time. And then let's do this. We could say local data equals HTTP services, colon, get a sync. And then we're going to copy this one. And then we're going to say channels. And then we can say the, the question mark part equals statistics. And then we can add a and, and then we can say ID. Now this is where we're going to get our ID. So we're going to put an equal, and then we're going to dot dot ID 
dot dot that. And then uh, over here, we're going to get the API key. So we can have to say and key equal and then dot dot. And once we've done that, we're going to say local data equals HTTP service colon JSON uh, decode. And then we can say the link. Now, what it just does is we're going to have to get the access from the, the link right there. I'm going to show you what an example how to get access to these API keys. So I'm going to copy this part right here and then paste it in the URL right here. So, and now if I enter, you will see uh, this picture right here. So this will be the table of where we're going to do. So uh, we're going to start with the items and then uh, we set the part to statistics. So we get the statistics. And then now it will show our subscriber count. You can tell you can do view counting that which is fine and the video counting, but we're going to focus on is the subscriber count. So how we're going to use it. So I'm just going to freeze frame this one and I'm just going to put it to the side so you will remember it. I'm going to do a make a print statement so I'll show you why. So we could say print data dot items and then we we'll make a bracket and we'll say one and then we could say dot statistics dot subscriber count and there you go now let's go ahead and run and execute the code oh wait before we actually uh, execute the code we're going to publish it to roblox and then we have to go to game settings go to security and then we need to allow http requests so we will have access to go to other servers and as you can see, it prints out 663. But to get the joke, it's because I already have 663 subscribers. So the code works, but how we can, how do we have to use it? What can we use for something else? So I have this, uh, this one right here. So as you can see, I have a, a sub display and in the recent requirements, we're going to have a surface UI and we're facing to the front and we're going to, I added like two text labels we added the subscriber count, which will display the subscribers and the YouTube name, which we're going to display the YouTube name. I'm going to show you how. So a, so I copy this code. I know I made uh, two links and two JSON decoding. It's because uh, they have a branding setting. So as you may see, uh, I am in this one. And as you can see, uh, it's named Anobot means uh, the guy is a YouTuber and it shows my subscriber count. And yeah, that's how you actually make a subscriber count. So anyways, that is all for today's video. I hope you that's a uh, I know it's a very a little advancing to you, but I hope you learned something new. Uh, I hope you like this uh, tutorial. If you like it, please make sure you subscribe and like this video. And always I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.